Published, 11.53 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of June 2018, updated, 12.17 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of June 2018 The game was played in such oppressive heat 36C in the shade, that made it seem that the fittest would survive, though in the final reckoning it was Japan's better disciplinary record which allowed them to sneak in the last 16 on Thursday. Neither Belgium nor England need lose too much sleep about the prospect of facing them. The Asian side's thrilling advance to the brink of the last 16 which had so much to do with Colombia imploding in the first minutes of the opening game the two sides played, had always obscured their technical deficiencies at the back. They haunted Japan again on this occasion. Free kick swung in by Rafael Kurzawa just before the hour mark evaded fully three of Akira Nishino's defenders and sailed through to Jan Bednarik, who volleyed home to preserve some pride for the nation. Whoever plays the Japanese in Rostov on Tuesday will take great heart from the ineptitude. Japan's players celebrate with their fans after squeezing into the knockout stages by virtue of their fair play record. Southampton defender Jan Bednarik celebrates after giving Poland the lead in the second half in. Volgograd Bednarik met across from Camille Grosicki and volleyed past the Japan goalkeeper just before the hour mark. Japan, Kawashima, Hiroki Sugai, Yoshida, Makino, Nagatomo, Yamaguchi, Shibasaki, Gotoku Sugai, Okazaki, Osaka 47, Yusami, Inui 65, Muto, Hasebe 82, Subs, Higashiguchi, Ueda, Shoji, Honda, Endo, Haraguchi, Kagawa, Oshima, Nakamura, Booked, Makino, Poland, Fabianski, Bereshinski, Glick, Bednarek, Kurzawa, Peszko 80, Krahowiak, Goralski, Jedrzejczyk, Zielinski, Teodorczyk 79, Lewandowski, Grosicki, Subs, Szczesny, Pezdin, Sionik, Milik, Linetti, Ribas, Blasz, Szczykowski, Piszczek, Kaunaki, Bielkowski. Goal, Bednarek 59, referee, Jenny Sykesway, Zambia, at that stage, Japan were heading home, though another of the twists which have marked this last round of matches, Colombia's goal against Senegal, put them back ahead of the Africans once more. With the sides equal on goal difference and goals scored, Japan advanced by virtue of having received four yellow cards to Senegal 6. They incurred only one yellow on Thursday, Tomoaki Makino the offender. Once it was clear the Japanese were through, the game descended into a pitiful spectacle of both sides knocking the ball around between themselves, to monumental jeers from both sets of fans. It was desperate fare from Poland, who owed their fans something after a grim few weeks. But it was deeply unintelligent from Japan, who would have disappeared out of the competition if the Senegalese had scored again. All told, it was a massive escape from embarrassment for Najino. The Japan coach had said before the match that, We do not think Poland are invincible, we do not think Poland are indestructible, yet his team selection was still extraordinary by any standards. He rested no fewer than six players for a game in which qualification remained in the balance. Four were his goal scorers in the tournament and his outstanding player, Takashi Inui also set it out. It was some gamble he took. Japan manager Akira Nishino's gamble of resting six players for the Group H final on Thursday paid off. Just two Japan fans show their commitment to the cause ahead of Thursday's game in Volgograd when Poland was still proudly sporting her country's colors despite their early elimination from the World Cup. Japan gathered together after the end of their warm-up for a team talk ahead of their final group match. Former Manchester United midfielder Shinji Kagawa watches on after surprisingly being left on the bench. The attacking threat which had taken Japan to the brink of qualification from the group was barely in evidence. Nishino had clearly encouraged his team to go long and with Inui missing there was little gen Genuine invention in class to test Lukasz Fabianski, making his international debut at the age of 33. Leicester City's Shinji Okazaki, starting his first game in the tournament, managed to get his head on Yuto Nagatomo's cross from the left five minutes in. That moment seemed to encapsulate Poland at this tournament. Jan Bednarek first offered up possession by playing a ball back into danger and the allowed Okazaki to get in ahead of him. But Okazaki will not be sending a chill of concern through the round of 16. He departed, seemingly injured, three minutes into the second half, for Yuya Osako. 
The Poles looked like a team entirely bereft of belief in the first period, willing at times to play the ball all the way back to their goalkeeper from promising positions. Their final pass was poor, denying Robert Lewandowski chances to feed on. Poland goalkeeper Lukasz Fabianski gets down well to save from Yoshinori Muta early in the match Leicester striker Shinji Okazaki gets across his marker to fire a diving header towards goal in the first half Bayern Munich striker and Poland captain Robert Lewandowski is put under pressure by Japan's Gaku Shibasaki Japan goalkeeper Eiji Kawashima makes a fine first half save as he just prevents Camille Grosicki's header from crossing the line Japan keeper Kawashima makes another save late in the first half, this time from Lewandowski Eiji Kawashima can do nothing about it as Bednarik's volley flies past him and into the Japan net to open the scoring the Poles looked like a team entirely bereft of belief in the first period, willing at times to play the ball all the way back to their goalkeeper from promising positions. Their final pass was poor, denying Robert Lewandowski chances to feed on. The Japanese did look vulnerable to pace. They also allowed the Polish team space between the defensive and midfield lines and needed their goalkeeper Eiji Kawashima, who has not impressed at this tournament, to save them just beyond the half-hour. Rafał Kurzawa's 30-yard diagonal ball picked out Bartosz Barasinski, whose cross was met by the head of Kamil Grosicki. The ball had partially crossed the line when Kawashima, hurling himself after it, tipped it away. The Poles had marginally the better of the second half before Bednarek's goal. They could have doubled their lead when the impressive Barasinski laid the ball into the path of Camille Grosickis, whose cross was nearly diverted into the Japan net by their midfielder Tomoaki Makino. Japan celebrated. But it is hard to believe they will progress much further. Poland players celebrated the final whistle after picking up their first points of a disappointing World Cup campaign Japan players Kotoku Sakai. And Gaku Shibasaki wait at the end of the game to hear the result from Colombia v Senegal Japan's relieved players embrace each other as news of their qualification for the knockout stages filters through.